In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I usually wear to the gym to give you a little bit of gym outfit inspiration. Okay, for the first outfit, we have the beloved Chuck Taylors. I love wearing these. Um, and then we have a um, hoodie from Target. It's, it was like 30 bucks. It's pretty basic. And then we have our shorts from Essentials. Uh, I really like these shorts because they have these inside liners that are like kind of cover up your thighs. And then the pockets also have zippers on them, which is super key because whenever you're working out you don't want your phone falling out of your pocket anytime you're doing some crazy exercise or something like that and so they're super helpful i also put on a hat and uh, i wear all my jewelry to the gym sometimes like if i want to wear jewelry i'm wearing jewelry and then i put on the long tube socks and scrunch them up kind of like a 80s 70s basketball player because i like that look i think it looks cool and it flows better plus i got small ankles so it kind of covers those up too, so that helps. Then starting off with the NMD R1s, love them to death. Usually I'll throw on some type of hat, this little thrifted hat. And then these Tyro 19s from Adidas, I've had these for years as well. And then this very lightweight t-shirt from, you guessed it, Adidas. <laughs> I feel like this is a great fit to actually run errands in too, but also it's great for like aerobics and you know, a lot of movement, maybe hit workouts and stuff like that. So that's what I use it for. Okay, you see the tank top, so you know it's gonna be arms or something like that plus the vans oh yeah we're out here to lift heavy today the beater band beater bands the beater vans and with the gray black and white kind of fit all flowing together like that i put on some long socks there as you can see because i don't think it looks right when you show your ankles with vans i don't know what it is but i think vans and long socks or even the ankle socks look pretty good still throw on the hat just to see what it was gonna look like and i actually think i like it better without the hat but it's it's whatever you want to wear it's your prerogative okay and then starting off the next fit with the t-shirt from unique low it was like 10 bucks super easy super lightweight then we got these cotton shorts. I think I got them from Target or Uniqlo, one or the other, but they're really thick actually. Then you know I had to throw it through the Nike Blazers in at one point, right? Because these are like some of the best lifting shoes right now. Then bada boom, basically a little monochromatic look. And then you see me scrunching the socks back down because you know I said I like that look and I, it makes it flow a little bit better. You thought I was lying, didn't you? Nope, not up in here. Bro kind of got a shelf though, I ain't lying. <laughs> I just kid, I just kid. But uh, here it is with another shirt on. Just gonna give you guys uh, some more examples of that basic monochromatic look. Hey yo, I really be putting this on the internet for people to see. Like, come, come on, man. All right, but look, all out basketball player. Then for this final look, we got the essentials top. Pretty much the first outfit, but changing the hoodie out for a shirt. And it's just a monochromatic look that's super simple to pull off, really. Do you even hear legs? Hey, look, legs, these nuts. It's too early for this. I'm about to get demonetized at this rate. But here's the outfit, I guess, without the hat, if you don't have a hat to wear or just don't like wearing hats. It does kind of change the look a little bit, but it is what it is. You may have noticed that all I pretty much wear is gray, black, and white, and that's basically because it makes my life 10 times easier. If all the gym clothes that you buy match in some sort of way, then it's gonna give you more outfit options. I usually wear a hat on those days where I wanna focus a lot and just stay in the zone because it blocks eye contact with some of the people that I see regularly. So no eye contact, no combo pretty much. If you're nervous or uncomfortable in the gym, then wearing a hat is a good idea to hide your eyes as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually dedicate a set of clothes to the gym because you're gonna sweat in it, they're gonna get dirty, they might tear a lot depending on what types of workout you do. If you're just throwing on everything in your closet, then you're gonna run through your wardrobe a lot faster and you're gonna have a ton of laundry to do. The most popular inseam for shorts right now is a five inch inseam. That's the length that's gonna give you that little bit of thigh action that you can see your leg pumps with. If you're over six feet, then you're probably okay with getting a six or seven inch seam and getting that same effect. Just like any other clothes, all brands don't fit the same. So be sure to watch reviews, read reviews and do your research before you go and buy something. Or if you have the ability, go try something on. Don't be shy or self-conscious about your body just go in there and act like you own the place especially if you got that new set of clothes on it's gonna be like mm. and if anything it's not about looking good for other people it's about looking good for yourself i hope this was helpful and as always guys i will see you in the next one